Um, you know, Coop was putting me in really good situations, and then when our passers are getting us in system, and we have three, two or three hitters on the on the net, you know, it stresses their block out, stresses their defense out, and then I'm able to find holes, um, and Coop puts me in a good situation. So it all comes down to everyone working together. Well, I think the cool thing is, I, I didn't think it was anything that we were doing poorly. I just think it was really good volleyball, and you know, we went on a run early in that set. Illinois State went on runs uh, later in that set, and so it's just a lot of really good volleyball. So actually, even game plan wise, we didn't change hardly anything. You know, we just said keep doing what we're doing. You know, we got to be a little bit more patient and had a few more unforced errors than we would have liked to have seen. Uh, but I felt good about how we were defending. Uh, it was just really good volleyball, and that's, I think that's the one thing we just kept saying. You know, nothing to panic about. It's just really good volleyball right now. You know, we just talk about how that's not something that should get us down, but motivate us because you know it almost feels like something's been taken away from you they, they took that away from us um, and they played phenomenal so you know you can't be frustrated with that necessarily but you're frustrated with what you how you played and what you can do to come out even stronger in the next set and I think that's what we really focused on. And you know, the cool thing is fan supporters is year in and year out. We're always one of the top 15 out of 320 some schools. I mean, it's just the, the support we get in our community is amazing. And the fact that, you know, we obviously had a lot of parents um, over Thanksgiving and some of their family members, but we had people travel. Like you said, it's eight hours, seven hours, a long way to go. And the weather's supposed to be a little bit <laughs> sketchy. And we had a few that stayed back because of that, but we have a few diehards that were here, but what a difference they make. And I thought Illinois State's crowd was amazing. So it was really good volleyball atmosphere here today. Well, you know, I have just, um, it's just an awesome feeling. And like I said, this senior class, um, they have not been a part of a conference championship in any way. And uh, to be able to have our team fight uh, for our seniors and, and actually, you know, for our tradition as well, uh, it's just an amazing experience. And we've, you know, like every team, we've had our ups and downs throughout this season. Uh, but to be able to end the conference season this way, I mean, it's just such a really special day for us. You know, we're going to be celebrating this probably all day tomorrow, tonight on the bus. I'm sure nobody's going to sleep at all you know we're just gonna be really excited um and then you know we'll watch the selection show tomorrow we're, i'm really looking forward to being able to come into the locker room to watch that together as a team without feeling all that anxiety and all that nervousness because we already have that bid and you know then once as soon as we know where we're headed and who we're up against i think that's when the preparation will start we'll all start looking up the other team watching film and we're gonna i'm sure the coaches will be too right away so we're gonna be pretty fired up Well, I think it was just, it just boiled down to this is what we had been working for as seniors for four and five years, and we weren't going to let it slip away. It didn't matter what it took. Um, we were just going to go out there and compete as hard as we could and make sure that we were all doing our jo individual jobs um, to the best of our abilities and work together as a team. And we were able to put those four years to good use.